It's the end of May already, so I better make a video. I'm gonna say this now that a lot of this video is gonna be discussing the finale of Lost uh, in very spoilerific detail. I'm gonna give you a warning when I start talking about that. It's been kind of an up and down week for me. On Saturday, I had a garden ornament thrown through my bedroom window at about 20 past midnight, so that was awesome. So that gave me a bit of a scare. There was glass everywhere, and I literally mean like all through the bedroom and then all through this room as well. Um, I'm still finding glass everywhere, it's ridiculous. And I didn't get to sleep till about 5.30 that night um, because I was tidying up and waiting for people that never turned up and uh, then got three hours sleep because I had to call an emergency glazier to come and fit, board up the window. So now that's boarded up. So that sucks. Better news is that if you follow me on Twitter, you know I've had an ongoing um, complaint with NPower who provide my electricity. Uh, for the last five months they've been trying to charge me a lot more money than I actually owe. So it's been very stressful because they keep sending me threatening letters for money that I can't pay and don't owe anyway. But finally, today, I had the call that said it was all solved. Um, and they're very sorry, and they're compensating me heavily for the stress they've put me through, which is, thank God, because, seriously, first time bill payer, I was panicked. This is where you've got to stop watching if you haven't seen the Lost finale. Okay, the main reason I wanted to talk about Lost is because there's a lot of misinformation flying around the internet, and it's really driving me mad. So, I actually loved the finale. I thought it was so fitting and so emotional. I also think that the message of the last episode, which was basically, um, remember, uh, let go and move on, was very fitting for the audience to watch um, because that's how a lot of people are going to be feeling about the show and you know you've just got to remember it and move on and can't always be wishing like we're still on the air and find other great TV shows and I thought that was a really good idea. The piece of wrong information that I've heard the most time is people saying oh my god they were dead all along how lame is that? Let me just say they were not dead all along. They were never dead until the flash sideways of season six. That alternate reality where the plane didn't crash that was when they were dead because Everything else in the island, Christian Shepherd said, that happened, the people are real, and they made those connections. Loved about the alternate reality becoming their, the world that they create is that they create it because they're so important to each other, and the, the events that we have watched over the six years are not only important to us as viewers, but important to those characters, and um, important to them emotionally, so emotional that when they all die, when they die, you know, on the island, when they've already died, when they die, when we see Jack die, and we expect Kate lives into old age, and then dies eventually, they all come back together and find each other in this alternate reality so they can make this connection again and move on. And I thought that was really beautiful. I don't think it was a cop-out at all. I know some people think that um, because it was dead, it doesn't make me any importance because it's not real. But I think it actually was because there was some emotional development that never happened in the real life. Um, Jack works out his father, which is through his own son, um, which doesn't happen in the real life. And uh, Saeed learns that he's a good person in that world. And I think that it's so... That was, it was kind of almost more significant at the alternate reality and it shows that the emotional development goes on beyond life and it's still significant to these characters and that's where we follow them. We follow them right up to beyond Tet and still see them still go on these journeys and make these connections with the people they love and I thought that was really good. Also, the footage of Oceanic Fight 815, the end over the credits, a lot of people have been saying that they thought that was a sign that they actually all died originally in the, in the crash and that, or that uh, the plane that, the Ajira flight that got away from the island that that crashed, I never even considered that because that would take away the fact that the closing shot is uh, Jack's closing eye, which was just the most beautiful shot um, and the most fitting ending ever. So uh, I wouldn't even consider that that was that. I knew they wouldn't put that in as seemingly on the last shot and then put more onto it. That would just be stupid. So I just literally took it as, uh, look how far we've come. That's where we started and this is where we're ending. Seriously, Lost has been one of my favorite TV shows. It's the top three shows of all time up there with Buffy and uh, Doctor Who, and I was so 100% satisfied with the ending. I know we didn't get all the answers. I didn't want all the answers. I wanted emotional resolution, which I think we got. Uh, a lot of other stuff, I think you can... I mean, I just think it's interesting that we have so much left to just discuss and think of as talking points, because it would be no fun if they just ticked off all the answers and then you had nothing to say apart from if you liked it or didn't like it, because you've got to work things out for yourself, and... I think that was really interesting that we're still left with questions and Lust has always been a show that people talk about and they wouldn't, even if they think they could answer all the questions in the finale, I don't think they would want to because it removes a very, very focused part of the community that I think needs to survive. So I'll see you guys in June. It's June already, holy crap. 
I I love you all. I miss you all. I'll see you soon. Bye.